Hi everybody, it's ATX Mom. Well, one of my viewers requested this video. This is a follow-up to my What's in My Jujube BFF diaper bag. And now that my son's a toddler, he's almost two, she asked that I do a follow-up video to show what's in my diaper bag that's different from when he was a baby. So I'm gonna take you through what's in my diaper bag now. And if you've seen my other video, I really go through all the features of the BFF bag. So I'm not gonna repeat those things today. I'm just gonna show you what's in my bag. But if you're interested, in learning more about the BFF, um, then please check out my other video. It's really detailed. So, <clears throat> first thing we have are in the side pockets. I usually keep my son's sippy cup. So, this is a Gerber sippy with just some water in it. And the other pocket is usually my drink. So, um, in this case, it's a bottle of water. In the front pouch, in the mommy pouch, I have my Jujube wallet. And this is the same wallet from my other video. It's a little beat up and worn, um, but it's still a great wallet. Love it. Fits really great in this pocket. Um, I always keep my keys so I can pop them out really easily. And then in this little sunglasses pouch, I don't use it for my sunglasses because they're big and bulky, but I have um, a Jujube pen, a Tide Mini, and a tampon. I can keep here and of out of my son's reach. I also have a nail file. I just have it tucked down here in the bottom of the pouch. And then in this pouch, this is a small set piece from the B set. And this just has all of my mommy needs. So I have a couple of lip balms. I have, um, I was just getting over a cold, so I have my Vicks inhaler. I have a small little pack of gum and a hair tie and some a leave and a tiny little tube of lotion and another tube of lotion. So a lot of little things fit in this tiny bag. <clears throat> and then in this pouch, this is my Jujube change purse. And I use this for all of my cards, my punch cards and loyalty cards and gift cards and all of that stay in there. And I also have this tiny little moleskin notebook. This is great for shopping lists or if I'm out and about and I need to jot something down. I keep that off in that little pouch here. So that's the mommy pouch. And then the front pouch here, I used to keep my cell phone in here, uh, but I found it's a really great pouch for keeping uh, Mum Mums, so these are toddler Mum Mums, strawberry flavor. My son really likes these in the car, and so it's nice, they're really um, handy to get to here. And there's one more pack of Mum Mums. This one got a little crushed and broken. And then we just came back from a birthday party at Gymboree, so I had an extra pair of socks in this front pouch as well. In the back pouch, I really don't keep anything. I found that anything I put in this back pouch makes it really bulky for me to wear it on my back. So I usually keep this empty. Sometimes if I stop at the mailbox, I'll put the mail in here or the um, you know, bills to pay or to mail, I'll put mail in here. But for the most part, I keep that pouch pretty empty. And you can see I've had this bag now for almost a year and it's gotten pretty well beat up, but it still looks really clean. It's held up really well. None of my zippers have broken or anything like that. So it's still in pretty good shape. Okay, so it's in the main pouch. Um, I keep my pictures of my son in these little pouches here. I just took them out for the purpose of the video. In this little front pouch, I have, um, this is called a play pack. This one's for cars, and Crayola makes these. They're little stickers and coloring books and crayons. It's kind of an on-the-go if you're in a pinch and need to entertain the kid. Um, they have these little pouches, so there's one of those in there. I have a sheet of stickers. My son's really into stickers right now. And he also really likes cats, and I found this little calendar day planner that's pictures of cats, so sometimes when we need entertaining, we pull out the little cat book. <clears throat> so that's in the front. As far as snacks, I still have my Inna Baby Pack and Smart, because I love this thing. Um, and right now we have it filled with yogurt raisins, and some dried pea pods, and some craisins. So we always keep this thing in the bag. And I also have um, a pouch. This is a Plum Tots fruit and grain mishmash. Sometimes I'll throw um, a bag of pretzels in here or I'll throw a juice box in here. Just kind of um, 
nice to have an extra snack. On the side here is my med kit. And this is still pretty much the same from when he was a baby. The same kind of things are in here. Thermometer, um, there's baby Q-tips, nail clippers, um, an aquaphor ointment, and some Aurigel, some stickers, and then this is filled with Band-Aids. Um, so this has come in handy a couple of times we've been out and one of his friends has gotten hurt or somebody on the playground needs a Band-Aid. It's nice having this little uh, med kit here. And then in the back pouch of the med kit, <clears throat> I have some Advil for Mommy. So, super handy. Then in this bag, this is his little Toy Story toy bag. And we've got a Curious George sticker on there right now. This is great um, when we go to the doctor's office or when out at the restaurant and he's getting antsy, then I can pull this out. And I rotate the toys that I include in here so he doesn't get bored with things. This is just a little wooden like a puzzle, and we've got a car, and what else is in here? His toy wallet, which is filled with empty gift cards that I have that don't have anything on them, or, you know, a fake um, American Express card. This is uh, my son's Batman wallet. And then I also have in here, we have a top, it's an R2-D2 top. We have a little rubber slap bracelet. Remember those from when we were kids? And he has a My Little Pony in here. And he's got a Batman in here. So those are his distraction toys when we're out and about. Um, I've started carrying an entire pack of wipes only because I find that now that I have a toddler, he's making messes everywhere we go. He's spilling his juice boxes all over the grocery cart or He's throwing things on the floor, and so I need them for more than just diaper changes, so I keep a whole pack um, here in my bag. I've also started turning everything in my bag on its side. I used to keep the Be Quick like this in the bottom, and I found I have a lot more space if I put it on its side. So this is my Jujube Be Quick, and I have his diapers. I usually carry, these are, I have five size four diapers in here. I find that we stay out of the house a lot longer than we used to now, so I keep a ton of diapers on me just because sometimes we'll go out in the morning and we won't come home until bedtime, so I can make sure I have an adequate stash. Um, these are my disposable changing pad. I like it because it doesn't take up a lot of space. Then I've got his Burt's Bees diaper ointment. I've got my roll of diaper bags for especially smelly diapers. And I've got some hand sanitizer for mama. And that's all in the bee. Okay. Now here on the side, this is the medium size set piece from the bee set. And this still has all of his restaurant gear. So I have a little bib. He doesn't wear bibs very often, but when we go out to eat for spaghetti, for example, I'll put a bib on him just to protect his clothes. These are his um, disposable placemats that go on the tables at restaurants. These things are fantastic. I love those. And then he's got a spoon and a fork. And he really likes these little spoons. You get these at Baskin Robbins or when you get gelato, you'll get these little spoons. And he loves these little spoons. So anytime we go somewhere, I grab a couple of them and I throw them in this little bag. This is restaurant gear. The other thing I found is a lot of times when you go to restaurants, they'll be out of crayons or, you know, they won't have crayons at all. And so I bought this little spam can at Target in their dollar bin and I use it to fill it with anytime we get crayons at a restaurant, I throw them in here. And so I always have an emergency stash of crayons when we're out and about. So I just keep it tucked into my diaper bag. On this side in the back, I have boogie wipes. We just got over a cold, so these were really great for keeping his nose soothed. And passy wipes. I still keep passy wipes in here. These are really great. Um, even if you have a toddler who doesn't necessarily use a passy, 
Um, I use them for wiping off the spoons when we're out at restaurants. Before I put them back in the bag, I'll clean them with this. Or if he drops his sippy or something on the ground, uh, these are food grade um, wipes that can they can put things in their mouths that you clean with these wipes. So I keep track of those always. That's everything there. And on this side back here, I have my little mommy coupon organizer. And again, I got this at Target in the dollar bin. And I keep all of my coupons in here. I keep uh, stamps. I keep any sort of info that I have. Um, I keep, um, these are for our local grocery store. These are for the kids. They get to put these in the little machine for a prize. And then receipts. My husband saw this and said, it's the most mommy thing he's ever seen me do. <laughs> get one of these little accordion coupon organizers. But I love it and I keep it in my bag always. <clears throat> That's everything there. In this back pocket, I've got my Clorox wipes um, for like super grimy high chairs, things like that. Um, that I want to clean off. I've got a little pill bottle for me with some vitamins and some Tylenol. Some Tums for Mama. And my little sewing kit, which I have yet to ever need. But it's so small, it doesn't take up any room. I just throw it in my bag, and the day that I need it, I'll be glad that I have it. And then on this side, I have his Passy Pod, the Passy. He generally only takes Passies when he's sleeping. He doesn't really use Passies during the day, but it's always nice to have one in case of a meltdown. So that's everything um, that I keep here. As you can see, now that he's a toddler, it's pretty well packed. I will say that it can get a little heavy especially with all this gear in it. Um, so keep that in mind. I find that lately I don't wear it on my bag, on my back, excuse me, as often as I like throw it in the bottom of a shopping cart or something like that because it is really, really heavy. But it keeps everything that I need super organized and all in one place. And um, so that's what's in my now toddler <laughs> Juju B BFF bag. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. And um, like I said, if you want to learn more about the bag and all the features of the bag and all the different little mini bags I use, please check out my other video. And I hope this was helpful for you guys and have fun out there.